हेलो एवरी वन हेलो वेलकम टू माई चैनल नाउ टूडे आई डिसाइडेड टू लिस्ट सिक्स मूवीज दैट आई लाइक टू शेयर विथ यू सो दैट यू कैन ऑल्सो गो एंड वॉच दोज मूवीज ओके लेट्स बिगिन द फर्स्ट वन इज बराका समसरा क्रोनोस दिस इज अ ट्रिलीजी ऑफ इट इज मूवीज इट इज काइंड ऑफ अ डॉक्यूमेंट्री मूवीज इट इज विदाउट डायलॉग एंड ओनली म्यूजिक but uh, i really love these movies just they are so uh, like for example so political or so telling that they make a statement without dialogue and they uh, document various scenes and places and peoples and dances and uh, happenings that it is it it changes you once you you have what if you watch baraka samsara and chronos i have not watched chronos but i watched baraka and samsara these are you have to watch these two movies it's amazing and they have been shot in large format very crystal clear and if you get a if you if you even if you buy these movies i feel it's worth it okay uh after baraka samsara chronos comes the matrix trilogy this is the second uh t- like uh, series of uh, pictures that i recommend matrix trilogy you, you have to watch it for just for the fight scenes even if you watch it just for the fight scenes it's amazing and then the story and the cyberpunk uh, culture the matrix uh, you the costumes the color scheme the cyberpunk culture and uh, the fight scenes as i already mentioned and uh, the protagonist neo and uh, the matrix makes such philosophical statements like what it is to be human like what is ai Wh- what are your senses are you perceiving reality or are you immersed in some dreams and uh, it <laughs> when you walk out of the theater you will start questioning yourself is this real is this not real okay so that was the matrix then we come to the third movie which is the godfather trilogy uh, this movie is a masterpiece the look of the film the period look the 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 it's so it's you you get you get attached to the characters in the godfather and uh, everything is uh, taken care of so well the costumes the cars in, used in the movie the uh, sets designs and the main striking feature of the godfather is you you grow with the characters over a period over a span of three movies uh, as the main characters uh, become old and all you get attached to them you feel for them when they are low you feel low so it's it's a masterpiece you can in the godfather you can feel the tension in the frame when uh, you know when there's uh, there's something about to happen when someone is going to shoot someone it's a crime film so you can actually it's you forget that you're watching a movie you you it's like a mirror to life and uh, it uh, and similarly to the matrix when you when you finish watching the movie you are still you the still the movie still remains with you for a long time godfather that's the speciality of the movie Huh. Okay, coming to the fourth, uh, uh, coming to the fourth movie. Uh, this this is a series of movies, uh, Christopher Nolan's movies. I won't say much about these movies because everyone likes Christopher Nolan's movies, including me. I am no exception, and uh, all of the all of his movies. I've not seen Memento, but I've seen Dark Knight trilogy, then uh, Interstellar, Inception, Dunkirk, all. one better than the other what can you say uh, his love of film the scope of the movie and uh, the the how he uh, takes the viewer through a maze when he's narrating the movie the uh, the direction how it is it's it's signature christopher nolan it's it's, it's, it's good that <laughs> Uh, we are uh, we are able to enjoy his movies in this generation at least we are, like we have some good director who still sticks to the old methods christopher nolan uh, the how 
uh, the three Dark Knight movies, amazing. The Joker, the Bane, uh, Ra's al Ghul. Uh, what, uh, what, what characters and how in in the three different movies how the antagonist is introduced? Whoa, that was a, truly amazing. In, uh, then uh, Interstellar, I whoa the docking scene in Interstellar is amazing. I won't say much because you, are, you go and watch the movies if you have not watched uh, Interstellar uh, and uh, Dunkirk. Uh, you feel <laughs> after watching Dunkirk, you feel why we go to war and what is war, and these movies stay with you after a long time after you have watched them. Uh, Inception. <laughs> In, this is, you go and watch the movie Inception. There's, and then you'll. In, it's just. It, it'll infect you. In fact, the movie will infect you with. <laughs> and you won't be able to shed uh, the memory of the movie for a long time. Okay, coming to the fifth movie. Uh, I'll. I'll mention uh, two movies of Darren Aronofsky, Requiem for a Dream and Fountain. Oh, Requiem for a Dream was a haunting. I, if you watch this movie, you will, you will think to yourself, you will, uh, it's, uh, you will be, you will sink for three, three to four days. That's for sure. And the, the experiences. Some you won't get these from other movies. I don't know how, but each each like he has his own signature style. Darren of Aronofsky, how he narrates the movie and how he uh, progresses and all that. But and the close-up shots of the drugs and the eyeballs and the uh, it's it's you have to watch this and the fountain, uh, another movie by Darren Aronofsky. Uh, it's like what is what is life and what is death? Uh, like how are these things? What is evil? What is to be? What is to chase life? And what is to be alive? And what is to love? All these questions are uh, are tried uh, are, are tried to be addressed. Uh, so such. So I will uh, as my fifth movie. I will recommend Requiem for a Dream and The Fountain. And the sixth movie, and the sixth movie is Avatar. Uh, I love Avatar. Whoa! I watched it so many times. It's amazing. I watched it at least twice, uh, twice or thrice in the theater. I'm not. Uh, I'm not, I don't remember properly, but I. It's amazing. The special, if the special effects. Wow! And the attention to detail. The like, for example, the wheelchair of the of uh, Jake Sully. I won't say much. Because you go and watch the movie yourself, and uh, the machines, the creatures, the birds, the plants of the whole new world, Pandora, and uh, so so much of effort must have gone into designing all of that. Wow! And for the price of a normal movie ticket, we get to see all these things. Wow! It's really cool, na? So Avatar will be my sixth movie. So these six movies, I think you sh everyone should watch. Uh, these are my recommendations. I just made a list of six movies. So uh, you guys, uh, if these six movies are my recommendations. Uh, make sure you get, an, if you get an opportunity, watch these six movies. Thank you. See you.